Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we import as well as export a CSV file in MS SQL Server. So the first one is we'll try to consider this particular table as a data model for our extraction as well as import, import as well as export. So the first thing is how do we extract the data, right? Nothing but you have a data in a table and you want to extract, right? You want to extract the data from the table and download a CSV file. So what you can do is you here, we'll try to show you that. First thing is we'll try to create a table. So I'll just copy this particular table and I'll go to my SQL server. And here I've chosen the my schema as sample DB. So I'll create a table now. The table got created and then I'll just query the data from this table. As of now, we don't have any data in this one. So for now, what I'll do is I'll try to like insert a sample data so that you know we can perform the extraction. So I'll just here I'll select this. I'll insert a couple of rows here. Okay, so data got inserted. Yeah, so now we have a couple of rows here. The first task what we want to do is how do we extract, right? How do we export the data? What you do is click on the database, right click here and click on the task. So in the task, you can observe there are two things here, import data as well as export data. So we want to export the data, right? Nothing but we want to generate the data from this table as an output file. So I'll click on export data. And this is a wizard which will be shown first, click on next. And here it is asking what is the data source, right? So data source will be this one, Microsoft OLE DB provider for SQL Server. You select this one and mostly your server name will get selected automatically and select the appropriate authentication. If it is, if your server is based on a Windows authentication, you can go with the default. If it is a server is not a Windows authentication, if it is a SQL Server authentication, you have to select this one and mention the username password of your server. So in my case, as my server is installed in my local system itself, I have selected desktop as well as the Windows authentication, which will work here. Okay, and then select the database and click on next. Now, what is the destination? So destination, what we want to do is we want to generate a flat file, right? flat file, I'll select flat file here. And now it is asking, what is the place you want to generate, right? So I'll say here, yeah, so in this particular location, I'll select, I'll create a new file, sample.csv, okay? And here, yeah, so the wizard is here, select browse. Yeah, so select the CSV format, select sample.csv. Now, format is delimited, text qualifier is none. I'll just go with the default, click on next. Yeah, copy data from one or more table of views, that's fine. And what is the source table? The source table is, you know, like we have to make sure that you select the table name. So the table name is students. I'll click on next. And yeah, run immediately, next and finish, that's it. So let's try now. So it says eight rows transferred. Now you can check it out this one. Here I'll just right click here and I open with a notepad plus plus. Yep, we could see that there are eight records which was extracted from this particular export wizard, right? Now, what we do is I'll just clean up the data from this table. Let us say delete from this table. Okay, so now there is no data in this one. Now I, I want to perform a bulk insert. Right, I want to perform a bulk insert. I have a data of 100K, nothing but one lakh records I have input. And you can observe here, the format is exactly matching with the input format of the table. I'm going to say the data format of the table, student ID, first name, last name, birth date, gender, email, phone, city, and state, right? So I'll select this file. So now what we do is, we'll import the data, right? Sample DB, right click here, click on, ask and import data. Now the task is import data. And here, what is the input file? So the input file data source is flat file. We have to select it as, click on flat file. Now select the file, okay? So check the CSV file, sample data 100K CSV. And yeah, so mostly there is nothing to change here. It is a deleted based. And if at all, if you want to validate the columns, click on the columns here. It provides the information whether it recognizes the column names or not. And you can select the advance and to find out for each column, what is the data type? And if at all, if you want to change something, you can change it here. And this is a preview, this is how it is looking like. 
and uh, everything seems fine click on next now source is done the next thing is destination so there is destination you have to select it as microsoft only db provider for sql server and here same thing server name you have to select and if the server is based on a sql server you have to select the sql server authentication but if your server is in the local machine you can go with the windows authentication make sure that database is the proper one yes click on next and here now what is happening is it, is it is selecting the data source that is in destination so one advantage is if you are loading data and by default it will generate a table with the file name and let us say if you want to select the existing table what you can do is you can just scroll down here select the existing table here select this one and you can also validate the mapping click on edit mapping find out whether the source and destination columns are matching or not data sources are not matching or not emails the sizes check it out once this is done you can also check the preview it seems okay as of now and let's try click on next and yeah it may provide some validation error let's try click on next and next and finish so yeah it's still loading so as it is a bulk data there's a chance of taking some time but yeah it's still fine right so it was able to upload all the data. I can just see the count here. Select count of star from students. I hope it transferred all the data. Yes, 100,000 data it transferred. So the only thing you have to understand is the sample DB. You select the database and click on the task. And here it provides an option called import data as well as export data. So this is how we can perform the import as well as export in the SQL server. Thank you.